And welcome everybody in Twitch and also on YouTube for our next deck, Rakdos Menagerie. So this is a, a deck that we've played it once before and we did okay with it, but I remember whenever I played it, it was like the end of a long stream and I was kind of tired, you know, was worn out by the end of it. And so I, I didn't play necessarily the best, but um, we could see kind of the, the power in the, in the deck. And um, one of the viewers uh, here uh, in in uh, in chat and stuff, uh, Tejers. Tejers has been messaging on the Discord channel saying that they've been uh, crushing it with this deck and uh, doing really well. And so uh, only, you know, updated a couple of cards. And so I'm uh, updating the cards that Tejers recommended. And uh, we're going to try this out. So we're going to play... So we have two Spawn of Mayhems over two of the Gruesome Menageries because they're a little cheaper and they're also just real aggressive and they can back up a quick start for us. Um, but then we have the other Gruesome Menageries in the sideboard for whenever we need to uh, grind a little more. They are better in post-board games just kind of in general because there's more removal in post-board games and so your creatures die more and so you get them back. So that certainly makes sense there. And... Um, and yeah, basically about the same besides that. We have two drill bits over... I had four duress. We're just taking out two of the duresses for two drill bits. I, I'm I'm fine with that, so uh, it'll be good good to see. We got a 24th land in here as well, and an Angrath, which Angrath's cool. So yeah, I'm excited for, uh, for this deck. Let's see if we can... Uh, see if we can win some matches. Yeah, I'm going to do some ranked later with um with esper angels and honestly i'm the our first league here was real was pretty long like you know we've been we're three hours into the stream after the uh the the one league i'm thinking about just going straight from this deck and not playing Mon mono white judith today and then just going in and playing ranked with esper angels uh, a lot of people are really excited about esper angels these days especially track team here saying i love the updated esper angels uh yeah so yeah i i, I think i may just kind of that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking of just skipping my mono white judith for today and just going with three decks but being able to play esper angels for longer with all the ranked matches i have not played any ranked before so this will be the first time playing ranked for me um I think I want Priest in play immediately, that I, I can activate it next turn with Instigator. Peaceful, you support that plan? Okay. Yeah, I'll start in Bronze. Yeah, I'm going to be Bronze. Bronze 4. Yeah, how is Mono White Judith even possible? You can, yeah, you can find the decks right there underneath you, like where Track Team put it in there. You can see the deck list. Uh, the Mono White Judith deck list was a 5 0 list. Um, that, was, that was one I did not make. Wow, main deck Cry of the Carnarium? Come on. Nice. Bleh. Yeah, the... Yeah, Esper Angels is, is a good deck. I have a, a friend of mine... I am wanting to uh, also play it because a friend of mine is going to be at the SCG event this weekend that's thinking about playing it, it's considering playing it, and so it's another reason why I want to play it more to help them out.
All right, I'm getting the Selesnya Bugler list up on YouTube right now. That's everything. Hey, Sasori, getting that sub in. Thank you so much, Sasori, for that support. I really do appreciate that. That's sub number oh thirty-five. I guess I was, I guess I was down one. All right, we're at seventy-seven. Thanks, Sasori. All right, we're playing against Grixis Control. Got to watch out for Cry. Let's get those in. These in. Theater and Grath. Um, it's a lot of stuff in. Spawn is going to come on out. Instigators. Priests. Maybe I don't need all these menageries then. Basically, just want. I think I guess I just have to play a couple instigators, and I, I guess instigators are better than priests. No, priests are better. It's just too many threes here. How do I trim some of these threes? I guess Judith is the worst of our threes in this matchup. War boss may be our worst. Hmm. No, we're gonna take a Judith out. Playcrafter is honestly not bad here either, though. I haven't started playing ranked yet. That's that's going to be with the Esper Angels later. The gate stacks are pretty strong, honestly. Like they're they're good. All right, splitting the difference. Playing two Legion War Boss and two uh, Judith. Sly with the gifted subs also. Thank you so much, Sly. Get another five gifted subs. Turn that all the way up to 40. So, Reykjavik, Zombie, uh, Zombie Sir, Skeletor, The Lurks. The Lux and then Chronosaurus. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much, Sly. Let's see. That's just Mulligan again. I just can't, I can't keep like these gruesome menageries don't do anything. We're just really unlucky here. Real unlucky. Down to four. Let's bump this up to 40 and 72. Thoughts on my deck. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, J Jack, I, I went through stuff uh, at the end of at the end of the league 
and uh, talked about things I liked, didn't like. Um, the big thing is that the memorials are, are certainly not worth it at all. I would I would take those out of the. I would just take those out of the deck. That's. Um, never. I mean, I guess we activated one at the very end, but it, we were already very dead. But so never really activated it to have it do anything, and and it cost us, it cost us the match having a tap land, and it's it's just not worth it. Um, but I'm I'm posting it up to YouTube right now, so you can you can hear the rest of it when it's on there. If you missed that before. Um. And Herb's getting in on the sub action. Welcome, Herb. Thanks for subbing there, Twitch Prime. Uh, what, was, what was this other question here? I don't know why, but yesterday I was doing very well with Is It Drakes. Very curious, though. I want to invest in one really strong deck, Esper Angels or Esper Mid Range. Um, so, if we want to play one of the. Es okay, so. I mean, I'm kind of biased with that answer, to be honest. I haven't played Esper mid-range at all. Um, I have to say, I'm really happy with Esper Angels. And, you know, if you stay tuned till after this league, we'll be playing Esper Angels. Um, and I'm really happy with that deck. But, um, and so you can kind of see uh, how you like it yourself as well. I don't think our deck could be... Yeah, I don't think our deck could be worse to us than this. Mulligan to four and all lands. And last game just ended on drawing tons of lands in a row. We did not draw a spell. We had... We mulled the four and kept those three spells. And just drew only lands. So did not have a chance that match. Once our opponent had that that cry of the Carnarium on turn three, we didn't draw a relevant card. Did we even draw a spell after the cry of the Carnarium? I don't I don't know if we did. It might have been after that cry of the Carnarium. We might not have drawn a single spell the rest of the match. It might have just been all lands the rest of that game and the next game. All right, so starting over. I have not played Deputy in Esper Angels, no. I have been happy with the... Uh, um, the Kaya's Wraths in there. And can't play Deputy in Kaya's Wrath. All right, let's go. I want to definitely want another land for like these Midnight Reaper Judith. Marty's been your favorite of the Angel Virgins, the Angels decks. Yeah, Marty is certainly the best against aggro. And just pretty strong in general, also. Double Wild Growth Walker. Okay. We got the land. So we got Midnight Reaper going. Oh, hey, track team. Thanks for that reset for the second month. Oh, I'm, I'm down two packs. I gotta get two packs after this. I just kind of started a new match after that frustrating one. 
I forgot to get the weird. Uh, missing two packs. Yeah, that was a pretty rough match, that last one, that's for sure. There's Priest of the Forgotten Gods, that's the card we needed. That's certainly a card we needed. If they don't kill Priest, we, we have a chance still. They're reading it. So I tried to put in a Lazav in the Esper Angels deck for fun. I actually really liked it. Won me a couple of games so far with the instant speed transformation into an Angel. I could see that. I could certainly see that. So we can't just take like infinite damage from these from this Midnight Reaper. But I mean the less creatures our opponent has on the battlefield the better for us. So let's I mean this is still just a fine trade of trading a Midnight Reaper for a Wild Growth Walker. Drawing a card. Cause like next turn I can just go gutter bones, gutter bones, sack both the gutter bones. And so on. Like the less creatures they have for priest in play, the better for us. Sideboard Angrath and Mardu's, Mardu Angels versus Krasis. I don't hate it. Yeah, Ang I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't hate it. I, the, the problem, I guess the problem is, is, um, I really like Immortal Sun in, in the Krasis matchup against, like, Golgari because of... Am I going to be chump locking this walker? No, I think I can take it for a turn. Oh, I should. I need to not attack with Firebrand right, because if they play Explore Creature, i got to kill it. I think I shouldn't attack with Firebrand. Um, okay, that's fine. Anyway, um, so I want Immortal Sun in, in the matchup against, like, Sultai Krasis, so having Angrath with Immortal Sun isn't going to... Help us out too much. Perfect. Get Krasis exiled so they can't buy it back. Perfect. Sack these gutter bones. Get rid of the walker. We draw a card, get two mana. And that was a good draw. I was going to just put a gutter bones back in my hand, but Midnight Reaper works. So if they have finality, we lose four and we're down to six, but we get to draw four cards. Get to kind of reset our hand. Oh, I should have pinged that. Dang it. I'm not playing too well. I should have pinged that. Alright, so they are going to have finality next turn. doesn't mean that I get to use this. Alright, so do I want Judith in play before finality? Or do I want to wait? 
If I play Judith first... Hmm. Playing Judith is basically just going to make us do a decent amount of damage to our opponents. We're just going to have us do like two damage. Yeah, I guess it's going to do, yeah, I'll deal a decent amount of damage here. So we play it. Um, I don't even need to activate Priest. I guess I can just sack Firebrand and kill the Branch Walker and draw a card. I guess I draw two cards with this. And I add the mana, but then I don't get to attack. Attacking for nine. I just want to attack him. Alright, so the Firebrand still killed the Branch Walker. But then I can I can attack for nine here. All right, so they're gonna cast down that. All right, so now I have two things targeting that. Yeah, if we would have used the priest there, I do a little bit less damage, but I get to draw an extra two cards. Um, we would have done we would have done three less damage, draw two. That's maybe worth it. Well, my opponent's certainly just finalitying here. Oh, you're right. Sacrificing with Priest of the Gods is just like the same amount of damage. That's a good point. Well, our our opponent just didn't cast Finality. Yeah, this is live. Hmm. Castro, thanks for subbing again for 12 months. You are awesome. Thank you so much. All right, so they're at eight.
Man, we have really fought back with them having the double wild growth walker start. I'm a little behind 69 and 43. Yeah, you're really liking Carnival split card? Yeah. Carnage Carnage Carnival is pretty sweet. Uh, had a lot of success with that with Pestilent Spirit in that card. Okay. So they kill yeah, what? Legion War Boss? Company. Oh, Chuck, yeah. Chuck is actually one of my favorite shows, too. I, I saw, uh, watched that whole show. Um, Make your captain proud. I don't know. Not too long ago. Just, like, within the last year, probably, found that show. And, yeah, it's a, that's a great show. All right, we found a menagerie. Do we have an... We don't have another... War boss. <laughs> I'm going to get a second Judith just to get the triggers. Or, or no, I could just... I'm going to just get Firebrand for those triggers. So Firebrand, Priest... Actually, I am just going to get a second Judith. I think second Judith probably kills my opponent. Uh, choose which one to keep. Keep the one that's not summoning sick. There we go. I've recently found Travelers and binge watched three seasons and then they canceled the series last week. Oh man, those are sad times. What's Travelers? What's that show like? Yeah, this is a pretty difficult deck to play optimally, yeah. That's, that is true. All right, I think on the draw, I'm taking out Mayhem. Um, let's see. I asked Tezures what, what Tezures thought about this one, this matchup. So, like, usually spawn a couple, like, war bosses and instigators um, can come out and... Coils come on in. The coil that we drew was was really good for us. Plague Crafter, Angrath. All right, if we're looking at this, um, if we get another Menagerie in here, um, <laughs> Travelers is about traveling. All right, let's try this. On Schmidt's Creek. Ugh. It's people from the future coming to save the world through the Traveler program. Cool storyline and execution. Okay. I'll just check that one out. I'm not really watching any show right now. Yeah, I'm like between shows right now. Ozark? What's Ozark about? True, De True Detective Season 1 was good. 
I didn't like season two. I don't I don't think I even watched all of season two. But yeah, that it is like about as dark as I can possibly muster. I don't I don't know if Yeah, it's not It's not my favorite because I don't usually like dark stuff. I like more I don't know, upbeat stuff. Hence liking the show Chuck. Jason Bateman is a money launderer for a cartel in Ozark. I guess I could have left one firebrand back for that. Hmm. That's fine. That's what I was thinking. I was just going to be playing the Judith anyway. We actually get an extra point of damage in by not leaving back. Yeah, the ending was a little bit of a letdown there in one. <laughs> Two was in let us never speak of this again territory. It was really bad. All right, so what was it? Oh, so Ozark. What was it again? Oh, right. Jason Bateman's a money launderer for a cartel. Okay. All right, let's check out Ozark 2. What is going on here? Yeah, Judith is super scary. Like, imagine if we actually had something to do next turn. It'd be pretty good. Kalua King! Thanks, Kalua King. Rick and Morty? That's... I... I've... I kind of like Rick and Morty. It's not, like, my favorite. I don't usually like... Uh, those kind of shows as much. Um... But there are certainly a lot of hilarious times in Rick and Morty, though. Um, Target you. Huh. My chat just went away. That's weird. Huh. Something happened to my screen. My chat just went away. Refresh. Okay, there we go. I'm back. Your Twitch Prime won't let you resub and it expired today. Maybe it... Huh, yeah, that's weird. Because it doesn't, doesn't show you being a sub also after Wizard. That's weird. Um... Uh, no, Brooklyn Nine-Nine has not been mentioned. Okay, Twitch is having some problems at the moment. Gotcha. Because, yeah, it just shows that nobody is subscribed right now. And people... Yeah, because, you know, I recognize a lot of y'all being subs. And it just shows that nobody's subs subscribed right now. Oh, yeah, even me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Spencer, going good. Maybe just all these notifications is just kind of too much. Um, yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is one that I have. All right, so I have, I have not watched that one, but that certainly looks like a show that I'd really like. Um, but that, yeah, that's that's the kind of show that I think I would really like. Like, uh, Psych is one of my favorite shows ever. If y'all know Psych. Oh, you can see the the sub icons in chat. I can't. I can't see any sub icons in chat at all. All right, I need to check out this Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh, I just didn't get sub packs again. Dang, I was talking shows. The Office. I guess. No, I mean, I kind of liked it at first, like whenever it came out, I, I liked The Office, but it, it kind of wore off after like three, four seasons. Um, so it's like one that I, I wouldn't necessarily want to go back and watch again, but like, you know, whenever it first came out, I was, I, I liked it and everything. Scrubs, I had a roommate in college that watched Scrubs way too much, and that kind of killed that, that show for me, unfortunately. You know, just like hearing the, hearing it like just way too much and, and everything. <laughs> hey, After Wizard, still just getting in the regular subhive, not even waiting. For um, all right, so I thought they were Esper Control, which is why I did not play Priest first, because Priest is a better card to to play first. But I thought they were Esper Control. All right, I can see like the the sub badges and everything. I refreshed. Um, Toxic Flames also for an entire year. So. Thanks, Toxic Flames. Alright, so we're at 46. So I, I need to get three packs now. We are I think we're three packs behind. You like elementary a lot. I think I saw that one. Um, I haven't I haven't watched the show, but I think I saw that you know just on like Netflix or whatever, and I th thought it looked pretty interesting. My Hero Academia is really fun. Okay, I'm not. Yeah, I've, I'm not into anime. I have I've never watched an anime before. I've never been. I've never like wanted to really watch an anime. I don't know. It's just. Nothing I've really cared to watch before. <laughs> Game of Thrones. That's kind of lighthearted, happy-go-lucky fun. I tried Game of Thrones, but couldn't. I don't know. It's, it's so gory and everything. No, no end on my... No difference on my end uh, for a regular sub or Twitch Prime sub. Count the same. Um... I just say no attacks. Game of Thrones is about to get that last season. Last series of Louis C.K. Never, never watched Louis C.K. Oh, Lyra Dawnbringer. Okay, so let's sacrifice. Uh, target you. Sack the two instigators, because those will draw us cards. Um, just do the damage to them. Oh, 
All right, so I can... I uh, can't quite play Spawn and uh, Rick's Mahdi with... I'm, I'm certainly playing Spawn. But then... Uh, so I could wait till next turn and try to Spectacle and draw three, or I can just play this right now. I think I'm just going to play this right now. We, we have like... We have a good amount, good re amount of ways to like draw other cards and everything. <laughs> this deck could use some Nexus of Fates. <laughs> but no, Louis C.K. is not really. That's not up my alley. Like just uh, comedy shows like that. I am I'm glad our opponent killed that card, honestly. Because I was actually worried about Midnight Reaper killing me. Um, I'm certainly glad they did not kill Priest of Forgotten Gods. Like, Priest is the real card here. Because, yeah, with the Lyra, my life total is under duress, and that Midnight Reaper, and especially with Spawn of Mayhem, could certainly kill me. Alright, target you. Wait. I could... Wait, I guess I could sacrifice another priest. Because this only deals damage with non-token creatures. So I need two non-token creatures to die. So priest and reveler. And I can just kill the thief with those two triggers. They sack that. Draw a card. That's a good one. Yeah, Parks and Rec. Same kind of thing as The Office for me. I, I really liked Parks and Rec. Uh... Especially like season two and three, because yeah, f first season wasn't so good. Um, but like when it, a while ago, but I don't know, kind of growing up more, getting older. Parks and Rec and and The Office are aren't as as appealing to me. Shows I really like are you know Psych is also you know kind of lighthearted, but um, I like that. I like White Collar and Suits. Uh, those are two of my favorite shows. All right, so they're Esper mid range. Esper mid range. So it seems like lava coils would be good here. Play the updated Esper Angels and love it. Awesome. Rx jealous. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Yeah, Priest of Forgotten Gods won that game for us, absolutely. Priest was amazing. So if I play the Lava Coils, I'm gonna cut a Reveler, cut a couple Instigators, cut some more bosses, um, get another Menagerie, and get this Bedevil in here. I need to be able to kill Lyra. I think I want a sideboard like this. Angrath's like the one other card that I'm thinking about, but I'm gonna just keep it like this. Yeah, White Collar is my my favorite show ever. That's that's my favorite one. That's why like that's why I started wearing dress shirts and ties was because of uh, the character Neil Caffrey on White Collar. I just really like how he looked and dress shirts and ties, and I was like, man, I, I should start wearing more dress shirts and ties. It look, looks good, and so that's where that uh, started. Besides our deck, uh, besides that one match where our deck, you know, just gave us nothing, where we just had kind of like all lands like the whole time, it's been really impressive.
I want to save the Lava Coil for Thief of Sanity, but we're just going to be curving out. I just hope they don't have Thief of Sanity next turn. Even if they do have Thief of Sanity, they can put like some stuff in our graveyard for our Gruesome Menagerie. Yeah, it's it's like a more lighthearted blacklist. Yeah, blacklist is. Uh, I have I've seen blacklists. Uh, that one's more violent for sure. I don't I don't like how violent blacklist is at times. But yeah, it's it's kind of like that, but more more lighthearted, better characters, I think, in white collar. Yo, man, ties and dress shirts are amazing. I started last January wearing slacks, button-down, vest, and tie every day. People just treat you better as well. Nice. I'm glad you're glad you're liking it, too. Judith or Reaper? Judith. Go watch Boston Legal. So, Thought Erasure Bug works again. They make us discard a card. We immediately draw it. I have not played Azorius Aggro, no. Um, and I'm surprised I haven't ran into it at all. I I like Azorius Aggro. I think it's I think it's good against um, I think it's good against Soltai. And so I'm surprised more people aren't playing it with all the Soltai around. I don't want to just menagerie just the Judith. Maybe that's me being... Um, me being too... Too greedy. back that Midnight Reaper. They're down to four. Hey, Gatsby. Oh, come on, Lyra. Hmm. So close to killing them. So if they go to nine, if they block Midnight Reaper and go to nine, we can do five, six, seven, eight. We can do eight damage to them. I think we only have eight. So like, like they block Midnight Reaper, go to nine. I shoot them once to, to eight. Uh, these hit them down to three, and Judith puts them down to one. But I can't put them down to one. And I get to draw a card. There we go. That's it. That was the card we wanted to draw. This deck is gas.
Yeah, Burly Man, Pat's one. Man, they looked, their defense looked so impressive. Just incredible. All right, pack time. We got, we are three packs in. Let's start with Ravnica Allegiance. We got a free pack here. Come on, Mythic. Come on, Mythic. Uh, just a rare. All right, 20 gems. All right, and then we are on. Hey, Fred. Thanks for continuing to sub here, Fred. Third month in a row. All right, we're on Ixalan and then M19. Yeah, Judith gets two triggers because they both they both see like the trigger, uh, the Judith dying. Yeah, you can't have two legendary two legendaries of the same name in play. Uh, you if you have all of the rares in the set, man, why am I opening up these rampaging ferocidons? Um, if you have all of the rares in the set, then you only get uh, gems because you don't have any rares to open up left. So, so you just get twenty gems. All right, so we got a rampaging Feroc ferocidon, a band card, and a gin of wishes. How many wishes? Three of them? I I don't think they're going to unban it. I mean, maybe. You never know. But I think that the reason why you can get those in packs is because of in the fall, I'm sure it'll be legal in whatever, whatever like, you know, post-standard format they have for, like, these cards in the fall uh, that you can still use, like, your older cards in. <laughs> I like when I get Ferocidons. It's fun having a band card. <clears throat> Alright, come on. One or two drop. We got two really good three drops. Let's get a one or two drop right here. Oh, man. I hoping we could get lucky with that draw step. Gin of all of the wishes. Well, drawing uh, land, land, certainly not what we wanted here. We're keeping this four lander. Yep, we're playing Esper again. And try to run him over. Um, basically, Ferocidon just kind of got banned to weaken the red deck, but not be like one of the mythics that was like worth a whole lot of money and one of like the the standout cards in the deck. But. Uh, you know, still something that they got banned. All right, this at least Thief of Sanity is helping our gruesome menagerie again, so we can get Firebrand and War Boss. Spawn of Mayhem cost four, so we cannot get that. They shocked. What are they shocking for? Do they have Vrasis Contempt or something? Chemister's Insight? An Esper? Like, an Esper? Like, this seems like Esper midrange with Thief of Sanity. Settle the Wreckage? Can't imagine Settle. Or 
fortify. What are they doing paying two life for that? Guns to plowshares. Yeah, that's a good creative name. Come on. All right, and that's game. So whatever they block, we will just kill. We'll just kill it with the firebrand. Assume they're block blocking the war boss. Kill our own war boss. And then they take seven. And that's game. Oh, I know why he shocked me. Where of Death Shadow? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it looks like we're doing. I mean, yeah, we've won all three games against Esper midrange so far, and our opponents played Lyra Dawnbringer against us every game. And we've won every game. So our deck's looking kind of good. Get rid of two war boss. All right, that's what we did last time. The the problem with Playcrafter is if they if they play Hero Precinct One, uh, Playcrafter just basically doesn't do anything after that. What do you think of Priest of the Forgotten Gods in Orzov? I think you can make a, a sweet Orzov deck with that. Yeah, you have you have some good cards in Orzov also there. This was so. This was a deck that I made, um, and we we played this deck before on stream, um, but it was like at the end of a, a long stream, and I was pretty tired, didn't play it very well. Um, but uh, another person uh, that's that's been here in chat uh, has been playing it a whole lot, and has been doing really really well with it online. Like they seven would the challenge today, uh, put a picture of that on Discord, like you know, like this this thing where you get like thirty packs. Um, and so I wanted to give it a try again. So I made, I did the couple changes that, that they said to make and yeah, it's, or they said that they've been, that they've been running with. Anyway, Magic Harry, thanks for getting that, uh, keeping your Twitch Prime sub here, get that notification out here. I don't know if I want to keep this hand. Where's my high boats? There we go. I mean, if we draw a mountain, our hand's awesome. I'm gonna keep it. Let's draw a mountain. We're up a game. We can be a little risky. You're not a mountain. I can't play Firebrand. With this deck that we're playing right now, Vulnerable God. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> 50% mountain. <laughs> 
Do you know if there's a Mardu variant of this deck? Yeah, I I have a. That's where I, I first started with Mardu with Tithe Taker and Pitiless Pontiff. Yep, both of those. That that was the the first thing I tried. Um, but the mana base is pretty painful and didn't didn't come into play all the time. And um, or like you know did. Didn't really uh, go well for us all the time with the painful mana base, and so uh, kind of cut it down to the two colors. Really struggled with aggro with the three colors. So I was hoping to draw a land here where I could Firebrand plus Midnight Reaper. That's what I wanted to do, but you know, don't always get what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and Instigator sack the token for sure because Priest doesn't work with. Uh, or Re Reaper doesn't work with token, so sack. We'll just basically sack the instigator and the token that we just had. Get rid of both of those. Draw a card. Oh, and there's the land. Get Reaper in play. And Firebrand. We have been doing really well against Esper mid-range. You know, we've, this is our second match. We've won all the games, even with our opponents playing Lyra's every game. Um, haven't I haven't played against Jeskai or Nexus at all. We just played against Sultai and then Esper. And... Our first loss that we had was just really just like some real unlucky mana troubles, like... You know, drawing all lands, mold a four. So I don't get to use the two mana by sacrificing right now. But I draw two cards. Just gonna attack out. Just hit our opponent. <clears throat> They're down to eight. Darth Taco. I've I've not tried a Sultai Nexus deck. And of course we know that that's perfectly fine. We got lava coil. Do they have absorb? Okay. Nope, no absorb. So it looks like probably a mortify here. Yeah, deputy takes all all the copies. It's it's pretty good. Ah, uh, so hoping to draw that land so I can spawn a mayhem. Um, just gonna go ahead and reveler and and cycle through the the gutter bones. Oh, maybe I should have cycled through like spawn a mayhem because. I mean, Gruesome Menagerie is looking really good for us. I, I don't think our opponent can really have anything that saves them. I mean, well, they have to have Cry of the Carnarium, but they don't really seem like a Cry of the Carnarium deck. Kaya's Wrath. That's death. Judith finishes off with the triggers. Yeah, Instance with Spectacle for whenever they shock in. All right, three and one.
Yeah, Priest of the Forgotten Gods has been incredibly impressive for us in these games. Yeah, Priest has been just so good every game. <laughs> Kaya's death. Mono red's our worst matchup. We haven't faced any mono red. We don't want. That's what we don't want to face. And we're facing a red weevil. That's not good. I would assume a red weevil is playing mono red. Because they're not like a. You know, they're not a green black weevil. Oh, they're a red black weevil. That's what. Slayers, that's what we're doing up next. See, right here, Esper, Angels, Brink. We're gonna be doing that next. But. Overall, I just. I like the structure of. Um, of these events with the payouts. Like. You win. Uh. Ooh, that's pretty good. You win more kind of overall in... Uh, like, there's there's not much prize structure in, in doing the ranked stuff, you know? Like, you play ranked, there's no entry fee, but you, you can't win anything. So you, you, don't, you don't, like, gain anything from doing ranked stuff. You win, like, a little bit of gold in packs at the end of the month, but that's, like, just a, a really small number compared to... Um... Compared to what you can win by just playing like the events over and over. Hey, Gatsby. But yeah, basically, I don't really like playing and not not gaining anything from playing. So I sacked the gutter bones because we can just get the gutter bones back. That's what I was planning on. Kind of planning on doing that, so. But I and then I sacked the. Uh, and then I, I sacked the instigator, instead of the token, because I want the instigator in the graveyard with the gruesome menagerie. Dorvin with the three months. Um, do I want to sack or do I want to attack with this priest of forgotten gods or not? I kind of just want to attack with it. Yeah, priest is only creatures. I could just kill this Karn. I guess the Karn just like get some. Yeah, I should just kill Karn. All right, so I'm I'm just not gonna use Priest because they just Karn and go get Rekindling Phoenix. I don't know. I'm just gonna kill Karn. I will be better prepared next time. Thanks, Dorvin. I'm glad you're here. So that's number fifty. Let's get another pack after this. Lots of resubs happening today with uh, some Twitch, like a, a change in the Twitch structure of how they count streaks. Hey, what's up, Real Wrinkler? All right, you killed my gutter bones. Mm. 
the more removal the opponent has, the more you want to bring in the other menageries. So, like, this is a, a deck with a lot of removal. Um, they are playing, like, Lava Coiled, Exile. Hmm. I think I want three Lava Coils of my own for Rekindling Phoenix. Maybe all four. I'm not sure about Theater Horrors in this matchup. Yeah, they probably have like a lot of rekindling Phoenixes. I think I want to Lava Coil the Phoenixes and then just kind of grind out my opponent after that. If I just, if I do that, then I think we're good. JW Player and Thraxel Wolf. Thraxel got 30th in the Standard Classic. Ah, uh, so close. What'd you play? I'm thinking about, um,. Kind of trim it on some creatures here. I can certainly see my opponent playing. I'm just gonna cut War Boss. I could certainly see my opponent playing uh, Cry of the Carnarium. The 61. Mono blue with Terramander. Okay. Yeah, mono blue is a pretty good choice. I like it against the, the Soul Tide X that are around. Duress and, and Drill Bit come in against the spell heavy decks. Spell heavy removal heavy decks. So, like, your control decks, that's where it's coming in. Um. Rude. I'm just not going to have time for duress. Too busy curving out. I don't care. I don't mind that thing dying. Um, I guess I'm going to just take a turn off and take another coil. Uh, They have yet another coil. They have three of those. Because my my spells getting exiled is a problem with menagerie. Lost to Drake's three times, twice to the 12 Drake deck, and once to Drake Sasser. <laughs> I'm glad I have all, all four of my Lava Coils in, because Chain Whirler is kind of a difficult card to beat. Speaking of... So I can Menagerie and get back Judith and... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do that. Due to the firebrand. Gross. Oh yeah, you think I should have just blocked and just gotten it back with menagerie? I could yeah. I could see that. That's a good drop. That's a good draw. They gotta be out of lava coils, right? They can't have another lava coil. Oh no, they have another lava coil! Come on. The list is good. I've, I've been liking this deck, Qual. Yeah, this list is good. We just had... We had like one match where we didn't get to play Magic. We just drew lands all day kind of thing.
four lava coils. Uh, against my menagerie deck. Wait, is this? Okay, it's just going to be discard draw. I can't spectacle menagerie yet. Man, all these lava coils. Killing me. So they attack with both. I just block the chain whirler with firebrand and shoot them. Okay, they did not attack. I could also, I mean, ping, ping the daredevil. I could block ping daredevil. Come on, deck. We don't need land number nine. Gross. Siege Gang Commander. Hmm. What do we want to change? Those duresses out. Bedevil? Man, these chain whirlers are rough. Yeah, war boss could be kind of fine. I don't know if war boss is really getting through. Oh yeah, that other yeah. Let's get the drill. Get both drill bits in. Thank you. Would I rather play War Boss or Bedevil and Theater of Horrors? Like the Theater of Horrors, Bedevil, or War Boss, that's that's what I'm kinda of debating on. Do I want these cards or do I want war bosses? Um That's what I'm debating debating Um on there. Hey Crazy Pyro, thanks for resub in there. Eighteen months. An armed panther for two months. We had two war bosses in there over the Bedevil and a Judith. 
That's 55 with Crazy Pyro and Armored Panther. So we are at another uh, another pack after this. You think War Boss seems better because the match doesn't seem very grindy. It's pretty grindy. But it's certainly... Like, there's a lot of interaction. Like, they're just trying to kill all of our stuff. And so, like, the more the more of my stuff they kill, the longer the game goes kind of thing. Drill bit. Alright, so... Uh... Lava Coil? I guess that's the card that's coming out. Flock of Fears. Subbing. Thanks, Flock of Fears. They drew another coil. Well, hopefully this spawn of mayhem just takes over. They don't have anything there that deals with spawn of mayhem. Hopefully they're out of coils. Had so many coils. What if I double block? Is that even worth it? Nah, it's not even worth it. need the spawn of mayhem to go the distance. <laughs> they have more coils than a mattress. <laughs> True. Oh my gosh, deck. Killing me. New arena player here is still working my way through the quest decks. What's the best way to build a collection besides buying packs? Yeah, is playing limited is the best way to build a collection. Um, drafting, sealed. Uh, sealed, you know, you need to pay money for, like, the gems and everything. Drafting, you can save your gold uh, for the drafts. Um, all right, Spawn of Mayhem. Got it done. We were relying on Spawn of Mayhem, and Spawn got it done. So here's our pack. Ooh, we're opening up a pack, you know, for the sub goal anyway, and so we just got a free pack. And take a look, it's not gems, so it's not a rare, so that means it's either a mythic or a rare wild card or a mythic wild card. Rare wild card, I'll take it. Uh, so Cell says that limited is a terrible way to build decks, though. You get a lot less wild cards. I actually don't. I actually would disagree with that. It takes more time using your gems, but if you, um, but like using your gems, your gems just last a whole lot longer with limited, and you you win packs in limited, especially like sealed. You get three. You win three packs every sealed event you do, and I think you can just kind of have that last over time. So you get like the the collection and and I, I don't think it's it's much worse for building a collection, basically, uh, even building 
building specific decks. I just think it's just so much better monetarily to do that. All right, and then Brock Toon and he getting those streaks still. Two and three months, respectively. Thanks, y'all. Oh, we are on the final boss, aren't we? Good call. We are on the final boss. Let me get some hype in for the chats. For hype in the chat for the subs. There we go. All right, final boss is basically a mirror match, but they're going Orzov. We're going Rakdos. Um. All right, final boss music. I gotta get into this match. Here we go. What is going on? What is our final boss doing? They just blocked there happily? They are Mardu. Good call. No. Bad Judith. Ever thought about doing an intro for the YouTube videos? I, I'm not very, I don't know, I'm not very good with technology. I don't, I wouldn't know how to do an intro video. I like talk about the decks and everything beforehand. That's what I do. Yeah, I don't see how playing something you may not like is a way to build anything. That that's certainly true. If you don't like limited, then you know don't just play limited. If you if you don't like it, that's that makes sense. Uh, to not not play something you don't like. Meow. Uh, I think limited is a a really good way to get better. As well, I think it's a really good way to improve as a Magic player. I think it's one of the best ways to improve as a Magic player is playing Limited. Um, so I'm trading Warboss for Priest. Is that a trade I want to make? By attacking with this Warboss here? And then they get to ping my gutter bones. Yeah, I'm going to say no as well. The Judith is just going to take over though. I would love to draw a Judith of my own. Yeah, but I think y'all are having like a longer um, discussion. Judith is so good. Yeah, Judith Priest, uh, in particular, is just a great combo combination. No, Discord's not sub only. Uh, I'm trying to type Discord. Do, do exclamation point Discord in the in the chat. I I can't type it with Hawkeyes on the the keyboard. There's also just go. You can just scroll down to the info panel. Also, there's info about the Discord channel, in there. So we're playing a mirror match here for our final boss.
Um. And our, our opponent just has like this. They're just cycling. Like they've they got this set up pretty well. Yeah, sacrifice themed decks are fun to play. Yeah, you can stack your triggers the way you would like in Arena. If you just go to the options, the gameplay options, you can turn off the auto stack so it so you get to choose. see if we can flip the script and have Judith for our, ourself this time. It seems like a pretty important card. All right, let's get all the lava coils in. Uh, menagerie with everything dying a bunch seems pretty important. Um, do I want bedevils as well? I may need bedevils as well. What am I getting rid of? Like, am I worried about Midnight Reaper killing me? I'm going to turn two Reaper. A Reveler. Maybe just more Revelers. I think I like Instigator more than Reveler. Warboss is going to be awesome if we get Priest in play and doing that. You don't think Spawn seems too useful? I don't know. It's a 4-4 that kills him. I can't, like, block it. I like Spawn. But maybe I... Yeah, no, I like Spawn. You just kind of trim the the Midnight Reapers. I'm kind of worried about those killing me. Yeah, we could Angrath steal their Judith, but I don't want more fives. I think the fi the Menageries as the fives are good enough. This is a good hand. Lots on a Golgari token sacrifice uh, deck with Poison Tip Archer. Whoops. I meant to click the other one to go to combat. I clicked the wrong thing. Hawkeye was running in front of the screen. I'm going to blame him. I, I, looks like I clicked the wrong one. Well, F Firebrand is worse than Footlight when you get to kill it. Uh, I've been really happy with the Firebrands because we don't have Sacrifice Outlets in our deck. Like, they have Priest in their deck. Um, so there's been a lot of times where we have, you know, with Judith in play, we've used Firebrand to just sacrifice itself to do two damage. Uh, and it's and it's really nice there um, with that. And, yeah, I, I don't think that uh, Footlight would be better in our deck. I think you want, you need Sacrifice Outlets for, for uh, Footlight. We do have Priest, that's a good point. We do have Priest. I don't know what's going on here. Does our opponent think it's our turn or something? They're saying your go. Were they just... 
I don't know what, what's going on there. That is a good point. With Priest, Footlight is better with Priest. That's a good point. Hey, Cryo. Maybe they're being nice because I forgot to attack. Maybe. I don't think they kept a seven, a zero land seven. They must be like restarting their client. It must have froze on them or something. If you think someone is manipulating your deck on while they're shuffling, you see them look down a couple of times and you present in mass shuffle and there are no lands in your opener and then there are four lands in your bottom five. Would you call a judge to shuffle for your mold of six? Um, I would, I would just call a judge and, and talk to the judge away from the table about it. Um, I would probably just, I would just take the deck how it is and go over and talk to the judge away from the table and, and maybe kind of like seem like I'm, I'm asking about specific cards, you know, I'd be like, Oh, like maybe asking about some cards, but I would, I would kind of show them that and tell them that and have them watch the opponent. And have them like be able to jot that down to watch the that person throughout the day. That's nothing that's ever happened to me, but that's what I would do. I'd, I don't know if I'd pick the the deck up and and take it over, but maybe I'd I'd I would act like I was gonna ask ask about some card ruling and go over and talk to the judge like that. I would prefer that if somebody is cheating like that, I would prefer them get caught and kicked out of the tournament than have a judge shuffle for like that six card hand. Because that's, you know, that's just not acceptable to have somebody doing that. <laughs> you left a, a, a breakfast biscuit next to me, they land a steam open. Hero of Precinct 1. So that's... That's their what they're playing. That could be what they're playing white for. And that's that's the other thing. You could be wrong. You could just like see like maybe you saw some you know, maybe you you saw something that you thought happened that didn't happen and you could just be wrong. And so that's why that's another reason I would, I would just want the judges to watch it. Yeah, you know, or just a judge to watch. Um because yeah, it's it's certainly possible that, that you made a mistake with with your with what what you think you saw. So that's that's another good reason to have let a judge watch it, let them make a decision of what's going on. So yeah, our final boss, their game one looked awesome. Game two and three, I don't I don't know what happened game two, like their client froze up or something. And then game three, you see that you can see that happen with uh, three color decks. I guess they kept a risky hand with having planes, planes, hero precinct one, and they probably had some good multicolor spells to play. Um, but we're not able to cast them. <laughs> yeah, they sideboarded to mine on white. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. So, final boss was pretty scary to start with, but then after destroying us game one, didn't do anything games two or three. Yeah, so if you think something's fishy and maybe you, you don't know like if you're too paranoid or not, just just talk to a judge and and just tell them what you think you saw and just ask them to watch. And there you go. All right, so 5-1 uh, with Rakdos, Menagerie, 
the deck the deck felt pretty sweet uh yeah it was it looked really good priest of forgotten gods was so impressive for us really helping us win a lot of games um against golgari or you know soltai and against uh esper uh mid-range we looked really good against esper uh the spawn of mayhems were pretty good you know i'm glad i'm glad we have those in the deck that's a that's a new thing that we didn't have last time just kind of a, a new way like especially when people have like their cryo carnariums in the sideboard and everything something else they can just kind of go a little bigger um but i liked the deck and yeah i'm excited to play this again later so there we go all right if you're watching this over on youtube don't forget to hit that subscribe button but uh thanks for watching and i'll see you for the next video